So it is cranking out there with wind. I mean, we're getting crazy gusts of wind. There's big swells coming in from the other direction. Get ready for a story of bravery, determination, and a touch of crazy. Welcome to the sequel of the Great Siberian Sushi Run, made famous by three Nordhavens in 2009. Our three-step plan is to follow in their footsteps, but this time in a 1969 aluminum trawler. Step one was to get an affordable boat, which meant a fixer-upper. Tangaroa was built in 1969, and when we got her, she was in rough shape, which meant she needed a massive refit before our attempt to sail her to Japan. Step two is underway, fixing her up, and step three starts the summer of 2025. Our journey from Victoria to Alaska to Siberia and Japan will be off the beaten track. There will be bad weather, tricky waters, and things we can't predict. And we're sharing it all on camera. The good, the bad, and the downright ugly. Subscribe, as it's going to be a wild ride. So it is cranking out there with wind. I mean, we're getting crazy gusts of wind. There's big swells coming in from the other direction. And if there's one thing that I will say for this bay is the holding is exceptional. It is, we haven't moved an inch all night. What's the radio saying? There's a weather alert? Flashing weather alert. <laughs> How gusty do you think it is? Oh, it's, it's hitting 40 plus. I wish I had a wind instrument. Forecast for the Lada Fuca Strait. Central Strait issued by Environment Canada at 9.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time Wednesday, December 27, 2023. Tonight and Thursday, wind east 20 to 30 knots diminishing to variable 5 to 15 near midnight then becoming east 10 to 20 near noon Thursday. Showers. Friday, wind east 20 to 30 knots diminishing to east 10 to 20 late in the day. Saturday, wind east 5 to 15 knots. Sunday, wind light. Forecast for Guadalupe Strait. Boat life isn't and everything. It isn't Canada, all roses sometimes. No. Sometimes it's no sleep and staying awake and watching your boat. Tonight and Thursday, yeah. 20 to 30 Thursday. So what did it say? Gale warning, Harrow Strait, which is north north east early 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 early. 25 knots. Saturday, wind light. Sunday, wind light. Forecast for Strait of New Orleans. Follow the normal issue by Environment Canada at 9.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time Wednesday, December 27, 2023. Oh. Tonight and Thursday. but we hit a swell so much broadside and it's going again that Christmas tree fell down, dive tanks fell down. It's 1.30 in the morning. 
Ray Blaine. Yeah, we'll never be at this anchorage ever, ever again. The most terriblest furrow like bad roll. I, I've never been in an acreage where the wind can blow from the exact opposite side of the island and it's terrible in here. So, yeah. No sleep. No sleep. Good morning. We are waking up to destruction. These are my Christmas ornaments that all went flying last night. The tree is over there. Got sand all over the floor. Everything's on the floor. The galley, I just shoved everything into the sink when everything went flying last night. Oh my gosh, counters. <laughs> um, we did get some more sleep, but holy crap, at like one o'clock in the morning when those big rolls came through, I think we almost dipped rails, Blaine. I don't even know where Blaine is. That was insane. I need a cup of tea. Holy crap. <laughs> Oh, it's still blowing a hooli though. Whew. Okay, let's look around. See, look at those swells coming through. You can barely see them. I have to say, I'm sorry, Shallow Bay. I don't think we'll be coming back. And what do you think of our adventure last night? Woo! <laughs> As my mom would say, Mr. Toad's wild ride. That was wild, actually. We're still like rolling. Oh, yeah. Not awesome. Okay, so supposedly the wind's supposed to die around noon and we are getting out of here. GTFO. Um not totally sure where we're going yet, but we're leaving here. Okay, we're checking the weather, see if we can GTFO. Well right now it's showing pretty light out there. It's like between ten and twenty. I'm okay with that. And it just gets lighter and lighter. Mind you, that's at noon. Station calling, hello, this is Victoria Coast Guard Radio. Do you require assistance? And then there's Friday. Yeah, it's all pretty. Eh. Tomorrow around noon gets a little windy from the northeast. And then it's supposed to be open. <coughs> we want to go to here. Yep. Um, Is that today? Yeah, that's that's like now. So that's how, it's not actually bad for us to get down do a lot of that because it's coming from. It's just getting side. across right know. there. Yeah, that's gonna be. And even that's not windy right now, but there'll be some residual from last night for sure. But, but yeah, it's supposed to get pretty calm at least through the rest of today, and then tomorrow doesn't look terrible. Okay, well, let's let them stop in. <clears throat> then Saturday, Sunday is supposed to be pretty calm. They gotta take Russell to shore. Yeah, Sunday's really calm. Maybe we'll pop to shore with them just with the dog. But it's gone through a little bit of a rough night. Here's the question. Do we leave? We have to leave. Look at all the drift with the king.
Happy anniversary. You know what that means, right? He's put it saying we're in danger, we need help. Oh! He put the flag upside down. Goober. Hey, Blaine's fix, fixing the flag. He put it back up, it was upside down. He actually didn't realize it was upside down. But now he's got ideas on how to fix it. I mean, I know what side is right side up on the Canadian flag. I just, when I was putting it back up again, I assumed that the side that was loose and on the bottom was the bottom. It wasn't. It wasn't. It was flipped. And I didn't even look at it. 75 feet out and we are rolling, 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 but we have no engine started yet. So we're going to wait on that. Because we are definitely going to need the boat in forwards in order to get that anchor up. yet. Looks pretty good. stuck in the bottom we have such good holding that he's gonna have to drive the boat forward to pull it out the anchor windlass just can't handle it okay okay so what he did is we used tangaroa to pull the anchor loose because it was just so tight like really good holding you can see it's running straight and now we're just going to pull it up. Drive. It's full of mud. We need to drive a bit. Or I need to get the hose.
Oh, it's just asking Blade where our windshield wipers are. Right there. He removed all the wiring and they're not wired in yet. This could get interesting. I think Janice is going to be running out with the California Sweet. water blade. decided to go down as well so it's um, fortunately the most everything stayed inside of it so we'll just deal with that once we get stopped but uh, other than that I've kind of taken everything off that's important anyway and uh, moved it onto the ground but um, yeah it's just getting better now though that we're getting close to the island. okay the winds calm down we're kind of in behind Orcas Island right now Lane's driving with his feet, which is always a good sign. And the dog is on her bench now, in her bed, on the chart table. Who knew when we built the chart table, it wouldn't be a chart table, it would be a dog bed? The dog table. Dog table? Dog table. But no, the life is a lot better right now. We did change our minds again. I phoned. West Sound, Orcas Island, and they said it's blowing 10, 20, or 10 knots in there. It's still kind of wavy, especially on the southerly. So we are popping to Blind Bay on Shaw Island because we know that's protected. And they got a really cool general store, which I don't know is open, but we'll go see. But of course, it's always a change of plan depending on the weather on where we're going to duck into, especially when it's like this. He didn't hook up the windshield wiper, so he gets to clean the windows. to attempt to pull this cabinet back up again.
they're about 45, 50? Yeah. How big are they? We're hooked and now we need a snubber. Okay. You put the little hook on. Okay. There you hooked. Oh. And then we let out the chain a bit. Okay, so I'll show you how it works. So there's the snubber, the chain or the line takes over from the chain. So when we pull tight like last night, it doesn't stretch on the chain and makes so much sound. The rope doesn't make as much sound and it takes the stress off. Okay, we're anchored. Now to clean up. I put everything back. I do want to say something funny. So not really funny, a bit scary. So in here we keep this was our pug dog that Blaine and I got um, owned right when we were um, first married. So this is Molly. Maggie, come here. And this is Rosie, okay? Which is our bug, our Boston Terrier pug. Well, when this fell over, 
I was so scared <laughs> that Rosie and Molly's ashes would have been like all over the floor with the oil. It would have been such a mess having your poor dog's ashes all over the floor, but luckily it didn't open. So we still have them with us. <laughs> that would have been funny. No, it wouldn't have been. Poor Rosie was upside down in there. Maggie was shoved up against the door. But they didn't mix. They didn't mix. Because that would have been a mess having your dog's ashes all over the place. So, uh, 